city There are people everywhere The snow is falling white and pretty As I stroll on my way Everybody, happy vlogmas we are starting off the vlog today in the mcdonald's drive through um i am here for mcdonald's breakfast mcdonald's coffee here's the thing i made some coffee this morning it wasn't very good it just like the shots just didn't pull well i didn't have time to like make them pull well and i was like well, i'm just gonna go to mcdonald's and get coffee so that's the plan um I also, today's a weird day in general. We have, I have therapy at 11. Obi and I have therapy at 4.30 and then we go pick up the kiddo. Um, so I really have from like 12 to 4.30 um, as like my window of time that's free. And normally, honestly, after therapy, I like to treat myself to like a little something nice. So I usually go to lunch. I'll usually um, go take myself out for coffee and do like my therapy reflection. And today I am going Christmas shopping. Like this is the big haul, the big guns. We're going to Target and we are like doing the Christmas shopping, like all the main stuff. I also need to run to the mall and get some of that more, some more Laneige lip balm because I'm addicted now. I'm hooked. So I am out. I've been like using the bottom of the pan like this is the last of it and um i'm just i'm i'm going to go buy more so we're gonna do that but uh before i do those things i do want to get some writing done today and i um want to have like a little bit of breakfast so i'm going to grab a breakfast some new coffee get settled in and then probably journal and right. So I wanted to tell you the other day we watched, like our kiddos like been really into sea life. He wants to be a marine biologist. Uh, so he's been really into like watching nature documentaries lately. And I put on the octopus teacher for him and uh, he loved it. He like came out of his room and he was like, this is, this is honestly just a great documentary. And then he like, Cried and he was like, this is so sad. And he was like, this is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. So if you need, if you were wondering if you should watch the octopus uh, diet teacher, it's his review. Oh, apparently absolutely great. And he cried from sadness and he cried from joy. So it was a beautiful experience all around. Hi, thanks so much for the McDonald's and how can I help you? Um, can I just get a sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin meal with... Did you say sausage, egg, and cheese? Yeah. Okay, the number two meal, and what kind of drink? Uh, coffee with uh, two creams and two sugars. And what size coffee? A uh, small. I have a small coffee, and in it you said two and two? Yep. Yes, ma'am, that's two creams, two sugars in your coffee, and what else? That's all. Thank you. The order correct, that's fine, and I have fun, so thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Cute. Um, so I was feeling a little bit bad about myself because I had ordered two creams and two sugars in my coffee. Um, but then like the grown man behind me ordered seven creams and seven sugars in his and I feel like normal. And that was nice. Thanks, man. Thank you. Have a good one. Let's go home. It's 
time for me to do skincare, which means it's time for us to do this. Uh, we are on day 10, 10 days till Christmas. What you gonna be? It's Caudalie, Caudalie Serum, Radiance Serum. Yeah, let's go put this on our face. I'm gonna give you today's skincare rundown really quickly. I'm gonna wash my face with Osea's Ocean Cleanser. I'm going to use our new Radiance Serum. I'm gonna use the Glossier Bubble Wrap, which seems to be the eye cream that just keeps on giving. And then we're going to finish it with the silicone free priming moisturizer from Good Molecules. And friends, the very last of my uh, Laneige lip mask. That's why I have to go get more today. Okay. Obi Arnold, husband, if you're watching this, click away or your present's going to be ruined, okay? Okay, do it. Uh, so. Oh, I think we've talked about this before, but just in case. Obi and I decided last year that we wanted to just give each other, like, really fancy stockings for Christmas because we don't really need very many more belongings and both of our birthdays are really close to Christmas. So the trouble that I have oftentimes with presents is it never feels like that I've done enough. It always feels like I could do more. And so I had all of his stockings I bought weeks ago and I can't shake the itch that like maybe I haven't done enough. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and build this like basket out and see if I need to get more when I go to town to do shopping for the kiddo today. I have it pulled out. I think we're good, but just in case. Uh, let me go get some scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got him and then we'll, we'll build it together. He's really, really, really into letter writing and um, stationery. He writes like almost everyone in his life letters. So I got him these really beautiful stamps. Um, I got him some markers for bullet journaling because he's kind of getting into that. I bought him a bullet journal. This is my favorite bullet journal I had this year. And so I got him a version of that. I got him a moon lamp. It's hard to see the vision for it right now, but it kind of looks like that. Um, that he can use as a reading light at night. We are both obsessed with Bombas. <laughs> they sponsored the podcast and I got some and now we're both hooked. So I got him some runner's socks from them, some field notes, which he uses in his wallet, as well as a gift card to this pen store that he really likes called Origami Ink, as well as some like wax seals. One of his pet peeves has, has having things stuck in his teeth. And so I got him a fancy floss. <laughs> I got him a gift card to his favorite bookstore. I got him some crystals. I believe this is Palo Santo. These candles that he really likes, they burn for, I got them for him actually in his stocking last year. And now he's like bought them for himself since then. He's out, he's almost out. He buys them for gifts for people all the time. Like I know he loves these. They help, they burn for a certain amount of time. So it helps you to like focus on a task for a certain amount of time. And it's like a beautiful, type four way to do that. This is uh, Scent of Woods, cologne and um, a candle. This is actually the scent that I'm currently using or the brand of smells that I'm currently using. It's a different scent than me, but it smells really good. Got him this like daily to-do list thing. Little tapered candles from Anthropology. Also, this is fun. Obi, I really hope you're not watching this. Um, so when we were in Portland, so I bought him this weeks ago as his Christmas card. When we were in Portland, we went to Anthropology, and he immediately walked up to the cards and pointed at this one and said he thought it was so beautiful and bought it to send to his nieces. And I had already bought it for him as his Christmas card. So I thought that was cute. 
a diffuser. He really loves um, having a diffuser in the bathroom. And this smelled like us. The rest is food, like gourm. Like I went to World Market and just like did a bunch of food stuff. Um, I got him like this beautiful thing of tea, some candy bar. Also got this, this was a little bit salt fish because I really want to try this, but truff hot sauce. I think we both love a hot sauce. So I got this basket to put it all in. I have to figure out how to fit it all in there in like a beautiful way. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try, honestly. Let's see. plenty. I got them more than could fit in the basket and that basket burst. So now it's in a bag, a basket in a bag. He's been walking around bragging saying like your stocking is going to be so good. And I got real nervous about that. But I think we're good. I think he's going to love it. I think I went overboard. I think I definitely, we didn't set a budget, but I went over it. Whatever the budget was, I went over that. So um, yeah, I'm feeling great about it. He does not need more things from the store. I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the day. It's about 10. Uh, okay. Here's what I'm wearing today. Let's start from the bottom. Target clogs, universal standard jeans, universal standard coat. This is, I think, anthropology from last year. And these are Anna Luisa. Hi, so we are in the parking lot of my therapist's office. I'm about to go into therapy. Honestly, Wednesdays are kind of like a wash for me. So because I take the kiddo to school at seven, I have therapy at 11 and we have couples therapy at 4.30. It's just a weird kind of broken up day. And with my write, like because I'm writing right now, my job is like, there are windows of time where I can write and those are kind of kind of eaten by this routine. <laughs> like um, one of those is like eight to nine, eight to nine thirty really, which I can definitely do in the morning. Like I could do that today. Um, but then the next one is like one to two thirty and that's usually like that's like right after therapy i am like not in the space for it quite frankly like it just it i'm drained don't have anything to give and the next one is like 4 30 to 6 which i rarely get to do that time i'll probably get to do it tomorrow but that's a very rare thing i'm usually with the kiddo at that time just kind of have to accept that like the other thing is like i was thinking why didn't i write this morning i didn't write this morning and I was thinking, why didn't I? And the other thing is that my routine is weird. So I am less of like a, um, I can just show up and do it kind of vibe. So I think what I'm gonna do for the next two Wednesdays until we're off routine again is just let it be fine. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have like three writing sessions tomorrow. <clears throat> so I'll be fine. I'll be good. But any, and it's kind of like, if I write today, great, that'll be a bonus, but I'm not going to expect myself to write. That's, that's the plan. And yeah, that being said, I'm going to run into therapy. I, it's like one of those days where I don't know what I'm going to talk about. So we'll find out. Yeah. I don't know where we're going to go, but, um, I'm really looking forward to being here. It's been, a, it's, I missed last week. So happy to be here. And I'll see you after. Okay, 
We are out of therapy. I cried a little bit, not too much. It was pretty great. We're gonna go to lunch. I'm really hungry. So we're gonna go find a little lunch date spot for myself. Oh, I don't know where it's gonna be. Um, so we are going to go to Session Cafe and because they have this smoked trout sandwich on brioche that looks so good and um we're gonna go there and get that also my face is like bro red i don't know if it's from that serum or what but that's intense <laughs> sandwich wasn't really for me that's all I really have to say about that it was fine it wasn't great it was a little too salty I'm a little sad about it I didn't really finish it I might be hungry soon these are all my thoughts also I think that serum also like didn't didn't treat me well hmm. um I'm still having a good day though so I um finished up what I had to do there. I wanted to do some therapy reflection. I had a little bit of like logistical tasks to do and did all that. Now we're going to go. Oh, also I should say the spritz that I got was the hibiscus orange spritz. If you live in town or if you're visiting town, you should get that when you get your thing. It's so good. So now I need to run to some stores. I need to go to Sephora to get the lip mask. Um, I also, while I'm there, want to look for more brow gel. I am, I have three and I'm low on all of them. And the one that I'm using today, I really want to save the rest of it specifically for traveling. Um, cause you can only order it online and I just, I don't order things online very much. And then we're going to put a dent in Target today. Hopefully, hopefully they have stuff for me to put a dent in because, um, Really, honestly, today's like the only day I can go because I, it's like the only day that I don't immediately work and go pick up the kiddo before like Christmas. So, uh, yeah, we'll be, that's what we gotta do. So before I have therapy with Obes at 4.30, I need to do those things, buy all of Target, and then we'll go home. I'm getting some coffee at Target too. Don't you, don't you think otherwise. I have two pieces of bad news and one piece of good news. The bad news uh, is that they do not have Laneige at Ulta like I thought they would. Um, they also don't even have it at the Sephora here. The, the closest place you can buy it in person is Knoxville, Tennessee, which is two hours away. So I was like, fine, I'll order it online. Not my favorite, I want it right now, but you know, whatever, we wait. Then it sold out online, so I was like, oh no. And of like the one I like, they had like a gummy bear flavor, but I just just don't think that's for me. Um, but then the good news is that I went on and I looked at the holiday gift sets. Laneige has a holiday gift set that includes one of the lip masks and it's $28, you get the lip mask, a water cream, moisturizer, and like this other cream that I haven't tried yet for just $6 more than the lip mask. So it was totally worth it, um, in my opinion. You know, everybody, everybody's opinion on that might be different. The other bad news is that I did accidentally spend $60 at Ulta on literally nothing. Like, here's... Here's what I got. I got some Gimme Brow. So they, the one that I have at home is in Auburn and it's perfect color for me. They didn't have Auburn in the store. I should have gone home or bought it online or bought a different brand, but I didn't. I bought 
warm golden blonde because it kind of looks like it might work. I'm hopeful that it'll work. Then I got some impulse bought this at the checkout because that's who that's who I am. Um, some healing spot treatments, which I love them. I use them constantly. I, I actually swear by them, but, um, that was, those two things were $60. How? I I should have, I should have done my research, but you know what? All is well. Let's go spend some money, some more money <laughs> on somebody else though. So that's easier. How are you all here? Like, do none of us have jobs? pretty picked through so we are going to go to uh that's that's not the right one where are you at well, i'm trying to show you best buy but i don't think it's gonna let me um yeah so we're gonna go to best buy see how that goes wish me luck we did it folks they had everything i needed why is shopping like so take so much out of you i don't understand it doesn't it doesn't seem like that much, but it's like always a lot. I'm really excited to go home. We have therapy in 40 minutes, so I gotta go. For therapy? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Our therapy got cut short because um, our therapist's fire alarm we kept going off. Today's a day of just hijinks, but I'm in a good mood, so I'm gonna ride it. Um, I have decided we're gonna hide, we're gonna hide the kiddos' Christmas presents in a suitcase, which is like, he's never gonna check here. I feel like a genius, but I have to do it like right now because Ovi is going to pick him up as we speak. And um, so I need to tuck his gifts away. No one will ever know. Let's pull a card while we wait. I wanna do a pleasure deck, I think. I was gonna do the uh, the silly ones, like the lighthearted ones, but I think pleasure deck is nice. I wanted something kind of light, pull something kind of light, like not too serious for the day. Um, that's just the mood I'm in, but I feel just more drawn to these than the affirmators. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. Aw, playground. Fun, fun, and more fun is the order of the day. You have been taking yourself way too seriously. Is your life full of schedules and commitments? It is time to do something just for the fun of it. Laughter heals, play unlocks your genius. When was the last time you let your imagination run completely wild? Ask your inner child what she wants to play and then give her that experience. More often than not, the solution to something that is troubling you will be unlocked through your willingness to play. What is lighting your inner child up in this very moment? Well, this felt really appropriate based off of what we just talked about, wanting something lighter and more playful. I think I'm definitely, last couple of days, feeling more playful, more joyful, more high energy, which feels really nice. I feel like I've dropped a lot of stressors that I'm just, so yeah, I feel much more playful. I'm trying to think, what is lighting your inner child up in this very moment? I was gonna say knocking things off my to-do list and that ain't it. But knocking those things off, not having those things to do makes me feel like I have space for my child, inner child to even exist, you know, because I've had so many like things that needed to be done that I couldn't do until I was other people did their things, you know. What's lighting up my inner child? I think maybe it's just the Christmas spirit. This is the first year I was telling someone like that maybe y'all that this is like the first year that I feel like I have like a Christmas spirit, like true Christmas spirit. 
like the lights being on feels really good. I'm like, we did hot cocoa. Um, I do have this December bucket list that I've almost completely finished. That's feeling really good. That's feeling like playful. The, I have a few things left. I want to do a zero screen day. I want to do a puzzle. I want a puzzle. There's baked cookies. That's on the list. Those kind of things. But that, I think that's kind of been really fun. What about you? What does your inner child want to do right now? Tell us in the comments below. I think my inner child's going to have some fun in a minute because we're going to do gingerbread houses. I will say that has not traditionally been a fun activity, but I'm feeling like so far all the hijinks of the day have not gotten me down. So let's just keep it rolling. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's make some gingerbread houses. <laughs> make some gingerbread houses. I'm going to make some dinner. We're going to call it for the vlog for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow for the next one.